What's up, guys? I'm uh, at my shop, which is just a storage unit. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm really supposed to be working on my car, but here's my RX-7. Um, right now it's open. But got it running off a gas tank right now because the, uh, the tank is really clogged. And I've emptied it like three, four times. So the lines, I mean, are somewhere clogged. Um, currently, I'm ripping the carpet out. It was dirty. It's been sitting since 1999, but the uh, the dash is pretty good looking. Pretty much everything is there. I'm ripping the carpet out because I could have I could have done it one of two ways. Take it out and then put it back in. But I think I'm gonna either one get a black carpet or two just go with no carpet. And this is why. Bam. Yeah, it's big, nice, nice big hole. That's gonna be all getting cut out. Just gonna use um, some sheet metal. But I didn't really want to deal with taking off the dash because I don't want to crack it. So that's why I have the seat just sitting in there. So I was trying to start it the other day. Um, I'm gonna be making videos on this build next summer because this summer is kind of ending. So next summer I'm gonna start uh, taking it to the drift track. Well, they were tracking. I want to try to do some drift events. Um, there's my piece of shit winter beater. Because my other truck decided to break down and I really don't feel like fixing it right now. I got I got to take the glow plugs out and empty diesel out because the hydro locked. Um, yeah, so basically I'll be making video, trying to make videos, I guess, of this build. I got a couple other cars. I'll do that a lot. I always check to make sure no one's coming because I've already had some random ass chick just walk in here and start looking around trying to see what I have. And I heard her coming so I knew she was there. She was opening it, trying to open up every unit to see if any was unlocked. And then stuck her head in mine and started talking to me and looking around to see what I got to steal, which pretty much just got my car and my wife's Harley Davidson, which funny story is when I first met her. She kept telling me she had a Harley Davidson, so I'm like, what the fuck? Well then, when I never seen it, and a couple years went by, then when she moved in with me, she went and picked up a Harley Davidson bicycle. <laughs> yeah, she was kind of making it as a joke, but anyway, I got um, this RX-7, which is a 1984 with a 12A. My goal right now is to get it running and driving first of all and then I think this winter I might pull the engine once I get it into my brother's garage I don't have a garage which sucks I'm gonna sell my house soon and buy one with a garage don't really, I have room to build I just don't like the house and I don't have that much room I want a nice size pole barn but my brother's got a nice three stall garage so we're probably gonna pull his Honda Civic out which he's got a really nice Honda Civic might feature that build on this channel as well He's currently building a new engine for it. Uh, don't know any details on that right now. I'd have to talk to him, but. Oh, train's going by. Um, I got this. I got a 1996 Eclipse, which I'm probably gonna scrap out. I've had it, I got it running about four years ago, and I parked it, and just, it's been sitting for about four years now, so I don't think I'm gonna do anything with that. This car sat for about, let's see, almost 20 years. Since 1999, bought it for my uncle. Uh, the reason why the rust is there, it's actually a pretty clean car. The reason why the rust is there is because it sat outside with the window open about that much. No one rain just kept piling in there and rotted that floorboard out, I believe. Um, but yeah, this channel will be focusing pretty much on this build. My brother's got a couple cars. He's got that Honda Civic, which I believe is in 1996 as well. Then he's got a Subaru RS. He's doing a STI swap on it. He got the full interior, whatnot. He used to have an STI. I don't know why he had. He just didn't buy a new one, but I don't think he could afford it. Anyway, um, so plans for this car so far will be probably gonna pull out the 12A engine this winter. It's getting close to winter, but I'm gonna try to get it started driving and get it to my brother's house and use his garage for a while because I don't want to use the storage unit in the winter but 
I'm gonna get that pulled out. Probably this winter completely rebuild it. Been thinking about doing a turbo swap on it, but I'm not sure. I do have a a built Ford. I want to say 302. It's my brother's. He said I could have. He, well, buy it from him, but I don't have to pay him until after I get it swapped in and get it running. It's forged pistons or forged rods, whatever. Pretty much completely built. I think it was at about a 450 horsepower on his Bronco. Bronco caught fire, so he's. I think he's gonna scrap that out. Um, thing about swapping it in here, not sure I plan on doing some drift events uh, next summer, starting next spring, next summer, whenever. Um, this summer is already too close to ending, so I'm not going to really get into it right now. Plus, I don't have the car. I guess it is running, it's just not driving yet. I can't get it to stay running right now. I got issue with it throwing out fuel off the top, so i got to pull it apart. I think the, the float might be bad. I bought this off of uh, Facebook because mine is junk. Okay, so I couldn't get it to run, uh, but I'm gonna show. Just gotta take the camera around the car so you can get a good look at it. I hate how zoomed in this camera is, but the best one I got. Yeah, they somebody painted uh, the chrome, which is coming off. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and repaint it black. Some of the uh, PO coats coming off, but the whole car is getting repainted soon. That broke off, which I'm going to probably remove all the trim anyway. It's hard to see from the lighting, but that's broke. The other one's good. Um, once I get into a different garage, I'll have more space to record. But it's broke here. Then both mirrors are going to be replaced without cracking. It just sat in the sun for 20 years. My uncle's junkyard. Um, both these are complete junk. I think I accidentally turned them on once. But the only rust, other than the floorboard being rotted out, is right there. And most of that's just starting. There's a little bit at the bottom of the door. Just put the tires on, they're brand new. The interior was really nice. Um, if it wasn't for the hole in the floorboard, I don't think I would have ripped it out, but I was more kind of nervous of like the amount of mold that was under there, and I was I was shocked there wasn't really any, so. But I think I'm gonna remove it, get black interior, or go with the uh, the race car look, and just do no no carpet. Which mm, I don't know if I'll do that because I'm gonna have so much sheet metal under there that's gonna be well, it's gonna look like shit. So maybe if I maybe I'll do like car mat, like floor mats instead of carpet. I don't know yet. But right now I'm going to up in the car and find a place where I can mount this. All right, so I didn't get the uh, switch put in yet. I got a lot of the dash pulled off. I'm gonna run the wire in a little bit. I'm gonna go get some food and probably end this video, but I'm gonna run the wire through and then start pulling the rest of the dash off. Um, I gotta get my drill too, I forgot that. And it's getting hot, I'm sweating. Um, so, no, not bulk it up. So I'm gonna head and get some food and call it a video. Next video I'll probably get the uh, toggle switch in and probably get all the fuel lines ran back and then order a fuel cell. So, but I'll get the, uh, the can set up back there that way I can get it running again and hopefully drive it this time.